Hello YouTube and welcome to another SQL Server tutorial. So in this video I'll show you how to execute SQL queries in SQL Server. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know SQL language is actually the language used to query actually databases in SQL Server. Okay. So let's get started and show you that with some examples here. So first thing first, we have to launch our SQL Server Management Studio in order to execute those queries, okay? So let's connect using uh, the Windows credentials here. Here we go. So now I'm connected to my SQL Server. So we go to the databases folder. So as you can see, I have a bunch of system databases. And also I have Acme Sample Database and Adventure Works Database. So as you have seen on my previous video, I show you how to actually install this adventure works database from the microsoft websites so you can download it and see my previous video in order to see how it works okay so let's choose for example this adventure works sample database and let's go to the tables folder so as you can see it consists of a bunch of uh, tables so here we have for example human resources that the department table we have also employee table we have job candidate so a bunch of tables here products production that products review so for example let's focus on this human resources dot employee database so the simple way to query this table is to right click on it okay and choose the select top 200 rows for example okay so just to get an overview of this table so you can see this table consists of multiple columns so we have here the business entity id we have national id login organization and a lot of other things but here we are going to use sql language in order to query this employee database or table actually so let's get started so let me close that and here we go so actually you have to to click on this uh, button here new query okay so this is the editor where you can actually write your SQL queries and here as you can see by default it has chosen the database I am on which is adventure works but of course if you want to query other database you can choose from this drop down here menu so we can choose the master database or Acme database but here as I told you we'll focus on this adventure works and especially the employee table so let's write our select statement it's a basic sql actually query that we use all the time in order to display all the columns of the employee table so all i have to do here is to write select statement actually and asterisk which means i want all the columns from and the table name so here as you can see the table name is human resources that employee so let's choose it human and here we can complete that with the tab key dot employee we can use our up and down arrow in our keyboard in order to choose which table i want to query so when i want to select for example employee all I have to do is to select it and hit enter so this is our first simple query select query actually and in order to execute it you have to choose even to 
hit this button execute or to hit f5 key in your keyboard so let's click on this one execute and here we go here at the bottom of this window we have the same actually table or result that we get when we executed using the right click mouse here and select the top 1000 rows for example okay so this is the simple select query here executed against this table here employee we can also get the same results here for example I can write here in the place of asterisk I can write the table name which is employee okay dot asterisk and let's execute once again and of course we have the same results it's just another notation that we can use so we can use employee dot asterisk or simple we can use asterisk in order to query the employee table another thing let's say that I want to actually choose some specific columns I want just to choose two columns instead of all the columns because here you see that I have a bunch of columns let's say that I want just to pick two columns to display for example the gender and the login ID so all I have to do so in the place of employee.asterix I can simply write my two columns so login ID and of course SQL Server here give me the choice all I have to do is to pick up the one I want and hit the tab key in order to select it here we go and the comma and let's choose another column which is in this case gender okay so here we go so we have our query so here we have chosen to display just two columns login ID and gender so let's execute this one and see the results so I will hit here the execute button and here we go we have only our two columns login ID and gender okay and of course we can use the same notation as before so for example here we can specify the table so employee so let me just erase all that so here employee dot login ID okay so it's another notation comma then also employee dot gender so this is another notation that you can use so here we have added the name of the table so of course we get the same result of course we can also use what we call aliases in order to reference that table so instead of typing human resources dot employee we can just actually shorten this notation to an alias so here I can specify the table name just by a character for example E for employee okay so in this case we have to replace employee the whole word with just an E because here we are using aliases same for the another column okay so now we can execute our query so let's focus just on one column for example I want to display just the gender so I can delete the first column here we go so let's execute this query and see what it will happen and we have our result so here as you have seen we have used aliases so instead of writing the whole table name we just replace it but alias is one character E we can also do the same for 
the columns so let's say that you have uh, a column name and you want to replace a button aliases so for example let's replace the whole this whole e gender with single character j for example okay so let's execute our column here we go so you can see here that the whole name e dot gender has been replaced with just the letter j okay so you can use aliases either for column name or for table names so another thing to mention here we have a bunch of gender here so we only know that we have two genders male and female so here we have a bunch of them if you want to get just uh, a value a distinct value we can use here the distinct keyword so I will use here distinct distinct in order to get rid of duplicates okay so let's execute once again our query and indeed now we have we get rid of duplicates so we only know that this column contains actually will contain just a two values either female or male for each row okay so keep that in mind if you want to get rid of duplicates we can use the keyword distinct in column name so let's once again get rid of this distinct uh, keyword and go back to the first uh, login id so now we have selected two columns here okay so as you can see here we have a bunch of rows okay so here we have almost as you can see here at the bottom right we have 290 rows so let's say that you want just to see the first 10 rows so in order to do that just to see the first 10 you can add here a keyword select top 10 okay so sometimes you want just to see how the data are so you want just to see the first two rows or 10 rows you can use this uh, keyword here top 10 so let's execute this column once again and here you can see at the bottom right we only display the 10 first rows okay so also it's very useful to use in your queries so let's get back to our uh, e dot uh, login id for example or just for example job title here okay so in this case let's display these two columns job title here we go so here you can see that we have actually a lot of job titles here so let's say that you want just to filter by a specific uh, job title for example so in this case you can use the where close so here you can add keyword where e dot job title equal and between quotes you can use a specific job title so for example let me choose design engineer and let's close our quotes so let's execute this uh, query once again here we go so now i have the result we have filtered our data and now we are showing just the employees that have as job title as you can see here design engineer and of course if you want to display all 
all the columns you can just use the track e uh, dot asterisk okay so now you can be sure that we have only three employees that have as a job title design engineer so for filtering you all always use the word close as you can see here so it's also very common to use it in your queries so I will finish by something also very useful so let's say that you want to display all the employees that has as a job title something that starts with the design just the design uh, keyword so for that you get rid of the second word and you replace by the percentage okay symbol Okay, so as you can see here so now we will get all the employees that has their job title begins with the keyword design so remember here we have only the design engineer as a job title okay so let's execute this query and see what will happen so we have nothing so actually here I did a mistake actually here I have to replace also the equal sign but keyword like okay where job title like the design and also this symbol here percentage so let's execute once again our query and we have also the same result so you can see that we have the design engineer so okay so if you want for example to display all the employees that have a job title something that begins with the d letter you can get rid of and simply keep the d and percentage okay so let's execute so in this case so you can see all the job titles that begin with the letter d so we have the design engineer the document control manager the document control assistant and the database administrator so keep that in mind use the keyword like and keyword plus the percentage character in order to get something that begin with this keyword here so that was just a brief introduction to SQL language in order to query your database so as always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.